WhatsApp encryption began in 2012, three years after its initial launch. Then, Meta, Facebook teamed up with the software group Open Whisper System to provide end-to-end -end encryption on the platform in 2016. So far, the rate at which third-party attackers gain access to user accounts has reduced significantly. While this innovation provides users with an extra layer of security, it also limits their access to their data. Users cannot directly access encrypted data outside the platform. However, when users want to use their chat information for special needs, like court evidence, it's not easy without a voluminous screenshot. Hence, here we explore the possible solutions to read their encrypted WhatsApp messages. There are no ways to decrypt WhatsApp messages. Once a user enables the end-to-end -end encryption security feature, every chat on the WhatsApp account is protected and only accessible through the sender and recipient of the messages in the chat. That way, no other person can read it, including Meta, who owns WhatsApp. The security feature uses private keys, unique identity keys to decrypt WhatsApp messages. Now, the encryption process has a multi-device feature. This this feature was introduced to make WhatsApp accounts accessible for users on different platforms. Hence, a user can log into their account on different devices by scanning the QR code from their phone. This security loophole now makes it possible to decrypt WhatsApp messages. Now let's discuss using the loophole to read encrypted WhatsApp messages. You can log into a WhatsApp account and read its encrypted messages through WhatsApp web. Therefore, it would help if you had the login details and the target account phone before using the decryption method. Tap More and you'll find Linked Devices. Open it and then tap the icon. Then you can use the mobile device to scan the QR code displayed on another screen. Once the process is complete, all the chats of the targeted phone will be visible on your WhatsApp web or other linked devices. A WhatsApp monitoring is helpful for parents reading encrypted WhatsApp messages on a child's device. AirDroid Parental Control is the best parental monitoring app to track the activities of their children on Android devices. Unlike other monitoring apps, AirDroid parental control doesn't require rooting or jailbreaking your Android or iPhone. Instead, you can read WhatsApp chats on the target phone with a simple set of procedure. It's an easy-to-use tool that doesn't require the help of an expert. There are many other features in the app to read encrypted messages. To use the AirDroid parental control, download and install AirDroid parental control on your device, open the app on your phone, and AirDroid will direct you to the sign-up page. Create an account and log in. Download AirDroid Kids on your kid's Android phone and open the app. Bind the devices with a pairing code showing the AirDroid parental control and set up all the required settings on the phone. Now you can read encrypted WhatsApp messages from notifications or screens mirroring your kid's device. The last method is longer than the other two. It requires giving third-party apps unrestricted access to the phone to which your WhatsApp account is connected. That is, root or jailbreak your mobile device. Rooting your phone will let you access the encrypted files. Also, you need to download WhatsApp Viewer on your computer and use it to decrypt your WhatsApp chats. Here's the process. First, open File Manager on your phone and go to the backup files for your WhatsApp messages depending on where they're stored. On your phone storage, go to Internal Storage, select WhatsApp and go to Databases. On your memory card, go to SD card, select WhatsApp and go to Databases. Connect your phone to the computer with the appropriate cable. Find the folder labeled Files in your Databases folder, then open it. Find the file titled key, then copy it to a folder on your computer. Go back to the databases folder and copy msgstore.db.cryptx to the folder where you place the key file on your computer. Now launch the WhatsApp viewer on your computer and select the file menu at the top of the screen. From the file menu options, choose decrypt.crypt12. Now load the two files you copied to your computer earlier. Click the OK button, then wait for the decryption to finish. In the folder where the two files were kept, you'll find a file named messagestore.decrypted.db. Import the new file using the file menu above, then press OK. Select the contact from the right panel, and the app will show the chats on the left panel.